And welcome, my magic miscreants. Risen Dragon here with yet another awesome deck from uh, Neon Dynasty, Kamigawa, and everything in between. And this is a deck that everyone is playing, and it's Selesnia Runes, Selesnia Enchantments. And this deck is absolutely bonkers. Okay, I've seen variations on it. I've seen you know differences in, in in what people are running, but I mean in reality this deck is just absolutely nuts. So let's get into it. So the big thing that this thing revolves around are are runes and enchantments. Okay, and there are some that are enchantment creatures, and we're gonna get into that in a second. Generous visitor leads us off. It's a one drop. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Absolutely nuts. Circle of Confinement kind of deals with uh, early threats. Uh, you can exile the creature an opponent controls a mana value three or less until it leaves the battlefield. And you got to read the card because it says creature. You can't do it on enchantments or, or permanents or anything like that. So you got to be careful with that. Also, too, if we're up against a vampire deck, uh, whenever an opponent casts a vampire spell with the same name as a card exiled with Circle of Confinement, you gain two life. Michiko's Reign of Truth. We're only doing two of these. Um... And you'll see why in a minute. Uh, target creature gets plus one, plus one for until end of turn for each artifact and or enchantment you control. It's absolutely nuts. You get two of these on the battlefield at the same time, and it goes crazy. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Portrait of Michiko uh, gets plus one, plus one for each artifact and, and or enchantment you control. Rune of Sustenance. Again, we draw a card. Uh, it has lifelink. All right. Enchanted permanent is a creature. Enchanted Permanent has lifelink. We're also running Rune of Might. It has plus one, plus one, and trample, and you get to draw a card. Okay, Spirited Companion is an enchantment. Uh, you, uh, It's a 1-1, one, one, enters the battlefield, draw a card. You know, it's, it's actually kind of a cool card to have. Kami of Transients, or Transients, I should say. Uh, whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it. At the beginning of each end step, if an enchantment was put into your graveyard from the battlefield this turn, you may return it from your graveyard to your hand. So it keeps coming back again and again and again. Jukai Naturalist, every enchantment spell you cast uh, costs one less to cast. Borrow time just to get some people off the battlefield. Runeforge Champion fishes for the runes, and also two, you may pay one rather than pay the mana cost for rune spells you cast. But yet, with this on the field, you can pay absolutely zero for it. Okay, and Hallowed Haunting. Oh, when this card goes off, it's just absolutely nuts. As long as you control seven or more enchantments, creatures you control have flying and vigilance. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, create a white spirit cleric. Uh, creature token with this creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of spirits you control. I think I might do a mono white deck on this because this with clerics would just be absolutely crazy. Ooh, write that down. All right, Cave of the Frost Dragon. We are running uh, the Manlands here. Only running one copy. You can actually enchant these with the runes. So that's actually kind of cool. We're doing Baseju who endures and also a Ganja Seed of the Empire. Uh, basically, this is kind of our removal. Uh, this also can deal with uh, uh, can deal with uh, you know destroying non-basic lands, target artifacts, or whatever. So uh, let's go to the sideboard. Tamio Safekeeping again just gains us some hexproof. Return to nature in case we're against a uh, in case we're against a, a mirror build. Uh, Selfless Glyph Weaver, I think, just really underrated card. Uh, if they're running mass removal, you can insert this into the deck maybe for, like, uh, if in a best of three, like, if they're not doing, like, uh, if you know they're not running a lot of low-cost creatures or something like that, take out the circle of confinements, put these bad boys in. Uh, Doomscar, just to destroy all creatures, farewell to exile them <laughs> or artifacts, you know, whatever. Uh, but anyways, this is a, a, a deck that I think really just uh, has the capability just to pop off incredibly quickly. I've seen Naya versions of it. I'm actually working on a Kaya version of it. <laughs> so I like that thing. Um, where you have Kaya in there and you're, you're splashing black uh, to gain some of the, you know, to get to some of the runes and also to some of the other enchantments. But uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, this uh, we play a best of one matchup, and then we play a best of three, just so you can see how the deck functions in either one of those environments. So without further ado, let's get into the games. 
And we are up against Giobi for our best of one matchup with our everyone is playing this deck. And with good reason. This deck is pretty bouse. It's pretty bouse. You can see with this hand right here. See, part of me wants to ditch the Rune Forge, but at the same time, yeah, we're just going to ditch one of the Duggos. All right, so let's see what we can get out of this. Play Iganjo, Seat of the Empire to begin with. And I think what we do is we do Kami of Transients, and then we do Spirited Companion. And then we go into uh, Michiko's Reign of Truth. Okay. That helps. Rune of Sustenance. Now, of course, if they have a Fateful Absence, I'm going to be a really sad person. Or any sort of spot removal. Field of Ruin. Okay. Okay, something has been foretold. Uh, so part of me is like, do I go with... I think we go Rune of Sustenance. Reason is, is if they've got a board wipe in hand then we want to be prepped for that. And we might as well get some life gain out of it, too. Okay, two Field of Ruins. But they don't have the... the double... planes yet. So part of me... Oh, Redane, how funny you. Well... Not too fun at all. Uh... I think what we do is, yeah, we do Machikos, gain some life, do that. I honestly think we're going to hang on to the Spirited Companion simply because I want to make sure that we, oh, that's new. I simply want to make sure that we are keeping something up in case we get spot removed or board wiped. Sunset Revelry, huh? Okay. Cool. So they do gain some life out of that, and I'm okay with that. Uh, we do this. I'm gonna do Spirited Companion. Just Spirited Companion. I'm going to hang on to the... Hold up the Runeforge Champion. Only because... I want to get the board back up. When we get... Okay, yeah, that's, that's going down. Probably have a saw it coming. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. We still get the, the counter, and we can swing in. Now, they do have the double whites, so, again, it's a little bit of a risk to do that, but we have an insane amount of life gain right now. And we will have the Machiko's Reign of Truth coming down. Professor of Symbology, eh? Okay. What are we going to learn? Environmental Sciences. Alright. So, we can put down... I, I will put down the Runeforge next time around, just because... Um, Alright, they have that. Baus! Okay. I'm just gonna go all out. I, I really am. I'm just gonna go all out. Because now what we can do is we can search our library for Rune of Might. We can cast it for Nerfin. Um, I'm going to cast it on that. Let me draw a card. Another Kami of Transients. Okay. I mean, I think we've got so much life. It's Even if they are running a board wipe, it's going to be very difficult f for them to rebound. And this will just get bounced right back to the hand anyways, because of the fact that... There we go. We got him. All right. Let's go to the best of three. We are against Rockor. Palindrome. Rockor. Parkour! No. Just kidding. All right. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, this is fun. So what we're gonna do is, I think we're going to, oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna ship that. I don't like shipping lands, but I think in this case it works because we've got enough to, we, we can curve out nicely in this case. And really, we're not running a lot of evolving wilds. Hmm. Okay. Well then, what kind of deck are we up against? Uh, okay. So we go into... Let's do Spirited Companion. See what we get. Forge Champion is always a good one. Good pull. Okay. We're up against a Landfall build. I've seen a bunch of... Okay. Well, that's intriguing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go Rune of Sustenance. Simply because I do want to gain some lifelink. Doge can get in and get some lifelink. Now, if we get Machi if we get another land and another Machiko's Reign of Truth, or, or Machiko's Reign of Truth down. Oh, are we against a mirror? Is this a mirror match? Is this a mirror match? Three or less. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, guess what? Yuzukai Naturalist is gonna go bye bye. Cool. So. Yeah, circle of confinement. We are gonna do that. We need to do that. Boom, right there. Alright. And off we go. Boom. Gain some life. We do have another one. Uh, we do have. Okay, cool. We do have another circle of confinement that we can put down in case we come up against anything else. Another Zhukai Naturalist, for example. And another Machiko's Reign of Truth. Okay. Totally fine. Oh, that's, that, that, that's fun. That's fun. So it's always good to look up against mirror matches and see how we do. Um, uh, and another Michiko's Reign of Truth. Oh my goodness. Well then. <laughs> I kind of feel like they might have... Um, I feel like they might have been a little too hasty with that, but... Oh, and those trigger before the uh, saga comes into play. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. And another Zhukai Naturalist. Oh my gosh. Alright, well. I mean, that is what it is. And they get a Rune of Sustenance, so that's always fun. I do think... And a Generous Visitor. Okay, well. Alright, well we need this. So what I'm going to do is this. We're going to do Michiko's Reign of Truth. That was a bit, that was a misplay. Maybe not. Draw a card. Yeah, that was a misplay, I think. So we gain some life. Ooh. Okay, so they've got that. Oh my. Okay. So they're going to gain 7 life back. So that'll be 18. That'll put us at... Uh... 20-something, yeah. Alright, we could be taking a beating here. Especially, that's a really... Not just a big board, but that's a really big board right there. But we are going to do Generous Visitor. And we are going to do Hallowed Haunting. So now we can get some chump blockers in there. And now we got flying in vigilance. Oh my. Oh, we didn't cast a. Is it. We're we gonna take a little bit of damage here. I'm okay with that. Or am I? Yeah. 15. So we get. Yeah. No, I'm okay with that. They're gonna gain some life. Wow, that is a really big Machiko. That goes there. Um, yeah, we're just going to swing in. 
We do have a chump blocker uh, with this. Runeforge. Okay. So, uh, now the, the machine's going to start to spin here. So to speak. Rune of Might. That'll draw a card. We'll put that on Machiko. Okay. And we may be in a little bit of trouble here. So if they draw into something else. Which it looks like they did. Another Runeforge champion. Oh my goodness. Okay. And they can cast that for free. They do Rune of Might again. So I think they're trying to get rid of this Michiko here. So they'll cast it on this or that. Yeah, we're we're gonna say good game. That's that's a really large not a, not only is that a wide board, that's a large board there too. So we didn't really have much of a a choice there. Um I'm gonna go with taking out the borrowed times and putting in the Doom Scars. Just because I want that board wipe capability. And even if we lose this, even if we lose this, this best of three, uh, I'm keeping this video because this is a, a really good example of how this deck goes up against like a mirror match. All right, so they know what we're playing, so we're not gonna we'll we'll, we'll tip our hat hat uh, tip our hat here, our hand here, and we'll go with that. Don't mind my son singing in the background if you can hear him. All right, so they play an evolving wild, so that's an interesting addition to this deck. I think it's a little bit slow, but you know, we're going to do Generous Visitor first and then we'll do the uh, we, hopefully we draw into a, uh, a white source. They okay. This could get a little tricky because we haven't drawn into our third land drop and we're going to need that. But now at least we can get hopefully some Enchantments down. In fact, they drew into the. Okay, yeah, Jukai Naturalist. Okay. Now, did they substitute in a. Like a snakeskin. Oh, Michiko's Reign of Truth. Okay, so we're gonna do this cycle again. Lucky I have the borrowed time. So if we draw into a white source, which we did not. Um, so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do Circle of Confinement. And we're gonna pump up the Naturalist. I'm going to take away the naturalist, and then next time we'll do the uh, borrowed time. I mean, I think we might. Oh, they have a borrowed time now, too, huh? Oh, they take the naturalist. Well, that's okay, because I've got a borrowed time to, to deal with your natural. to deal with your borrowed time. So I'm going to cast borrowed time on your borrowed time. Ah, perfect. All right, so we do uh, we do borrowed time on their borrowed time. And we swing in. So that'll be a 1-1 one, one for now. Rune of Sustenance, okay. They'll draw a card. Rune of Might, okay. Draw a card. Cool. Alright, so now... Part of me wants to do... Hallowed Haunting, but I think Runeforge Champion is probably going to be our best bet here. Now we're going to search our library. and go Rune of Might... Cast it for Nerfin. We can do this. He draws ourselves a card. Ooh, that's fun. Um, we are going to swing in. At this point, I think I would even consider chump blocking with the Runeforge. Just so we're not taking a whole ton of damage. Kami of Transients, always a good play. Rune of Sustenance, another good play. Question is one, two, three, four. And four. We don't have seven. We don't have seven. You're in sustenance again. Okay, so they're gonna 
do that. All right, good stuff. That Machiko is pretty big. So I think we do have to do... Eh. Yeah, we're going to chump block with that. Just so we're not taking a whole ton of damage from this. That's going to help. Kind of. Sort of. Yeah, here's what we do. Michiko's Reign of Truth. We're going to put that on this. Boom. That's an 11-11. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. We are going to search our library for a rune of sustenance. We're going to say, do that on the generous visitor. We're going to pump that bad Larry up and draw ourselves a card. And we're going to swing. Gain a ton of life out of this. Bring them down to one. Now, what do they do next? Another Zhukai naturalist. Okay. I'm gonna gain some life out of this, but I think I'm okay with that. Reason being is I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. They gain flying. We swing for the win. Boss! Alright, let's go to the third matchup. I think we're set with this deck. I'm liking this. Always good to get a mirror match in. When you can. This is a, a tad slow, but I think we can make it work. So you put the Naturalist down, and then we put the Runeforge Champion down on the Naturalist with, with Rune of Might. I think we're in, a, in, in good shape. This Generous Visitor right off the bat would be a really good option as well. They mulligan down to six. That's a relatively good sign. Uh, okay, we'll do that. Boom. Okay, so they don't have a... Ooh. Uh, we're going to do Kami of Transience instead. And then we'll do Zhukai Naturalist into Rune of Might. And that should get us in good shape. Unless they do a borrowed... Okay, they do a Zhukai Naturalist themselves. Circle of Confinement, maybe? No? No, okay. All right, so we do this. We do Zhukai Naturalist... Put that on that. Do this. We do that. And another Kami of Transients. Always a good thing. They take five. We're going to take at least five, I think, from this next one. Blossoming Sand. So they gain life. Good stuff. Borrow time! What are we going to borrow for time here? Zhukai Naturalist? No. We can do Kami of Transients, of course. Of course we do Kami of Transients. Always a... Again, that's a good decision. Good decision on their part. Now, do they swing in with the Naturals? Michiko's Reign of Truth. Okay. So that's going to gain... That'll be a 5-5. Five, five. All right. We're just going to take it. All right. Rune of Sustenance. We already have a... So here's what we're going to do. Ooh, Rune Forge Champ. This could get out of hand real fast. We're going to search our library for another Rune of Might. I'm going to put down a Rune of Might right here. Boom. I'm going to put down a Rune of Sustenance on our Rune Forge Champion. And we're actually going to draw a card here because um, I'm going to save the Kami of Transients for the next turn. So at least we've got a wider board than our opponent does, which is... I mean, honestly, we can use the... We can use the Jukai. We can use the Doge as a, as a as a chump blocker. Another Michiko's Reign of Truth. Now, if they've got a, uh, oof, that's a big Jukai Naturalist. <coughs> we 
That is a really big Jukai naturalist. So, and that's got trample, so it's not going to matter much what we do. Can you give me a minute? And go into Kami of Transients. I'm going to do Machiko's Reign of Truth. That there. Target that. I think we might be dead. Um, but we're going to gain as much life as we possibly can. With that. So that's a 10-10 Jukai Naturalist. And I'm going to block with the Kami of Transients just because I don't want to lose by a whole time. That's going to come back to our hand. Uh, let's do this. Let's do... Hallowed Haunting. You know, we're not going to block. We're not going to attack. And that's going to be a big portrait of Michiko. Very, very big. And if we don't block, we're dead. So, I think we'll just block with the Runeforge. So at least it doesn't have Trample. Alright, so... Boseju, who endures. So we're going to need to use this... To... We're going to channel this and destroy the naturalist, because that is not what I want to do. That is really not what I would like to see at all. So we're going to have to do the uh, uh, the Spirited Companion. I hate to I hate to use a doge as cannon fodder, but I don't think I have much of a choice. Uh, we do get to draw a card. Okay, and we... Oh, okay, we can do that. All right, fun stuff. All right, so we can at least... We might be able to... All right, well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, all right, so they've got those two there. Heck, we could chump block. All right, we're going to do this. And we're just going to chump block this because we've got... We're going to be able to get another Hallowed Haunting down. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Do another Hallowed Haunting. And I think we are going to... I'm going to swing in with this and this. Just so we can get some threats down. I don't think they have any hasties. And we'll gain some more life. Okay, good. Why attack in? That's silly. Why did you attack in? Okay. I mean, they'll gain a little bit of life, but... Circle of Confinement. Oh, whoops. Alright, well, anyways. That's okay, because what we can do now is search our library. For our, what's in our graveyard? Oh yeah, take take that from our graveyard. Put down rune of sustenance. We put that on Michiko. That just gets bigger. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a turnaround in this particular game. Now if they have a board wipe, I am going to be absolutely devastated. But I think we still I think we still get it because we've got the Runeforge champion. Okay, Jukai Naturalist, they, they, they got nothing. Okay, so we're going to go for the classy win here. We're just going to swing in with Machiko. We don't even need to. Let's go to the postmortem. All right, so this particular deck, I think you saw in that last matchup, the best of three, we went up against a mirror match. Really, really, really 
solid, versatile deck. I think it's a great deck in best of one and best of three. And it, it curves out so nice, and it, it's just an amazing deck. I mean, it really is. I've seen people running the Naya version, splashing uh, red. I'm going to tell you, I'm not a huge fan of three-color decks. In fact, if you go through my videos, very rarely do I do any three-color decks. I think my... Uh, I think my Esper Artifacts deck was the first one that I've done in a long time. But I am going to say this. Uh, we are going to do a Jund uh, video uh, probably later this week. And I think that's going to be kind of a big a big one. So um, as far as this deck is concerned, it's just absolutely it, it's phenomenal. It's versatile. There's control. There's so much you can do. There's so many different ways you can beat your opponent. And it's just a really, really, really just solid versatile deck i love it i'm grinding up to gold again I, I'm, I'm gonna make an effort this time around to to get back into uh to get back into the into gold and 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 go from there but until next time my magic miscreants may all your draws be godlike may all your spells hit the board risen dragon is out enjoy the rest of your week